order to avoid contracting and spreading COVID-19, we've all come up with creative ways to avoid touching people. What's up, Nick? Ooh, just kidding. And highly trafficked items like doorknobs. Check this out. Ooh. And handles. No touch. But have you ever thought about how long the virus lasts on paper, plastic, or steel? The National Institutes of Health did a study on the longevity of the coronavirus on five different surfaces. Copper, plastic, steel, cardboard, and in the air. The NIH used a nebulizer to spray the disease into a controlled chamber. Kind of like people spread germs through sneezes and saliva and fecal matter. Gross, I know, but everybody poops and somebody's got to clean it. The study found that COVID-19 can last for up to three hours in the air. But here's where we need to get really specific. The virus isn't just floating all around you. It's trapped in droplets, like in snot. And if you touch an area where the droplets landed in the last three hours and then touch your face, that's when you really have to worry about contracting the disease. Do you know why copper door handles are ideal during a pandemic? Well, it's because they have antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. And when the virus touches them, it dies within four hours. Now, boxes made of cardboard and papers you pass around the office, well, they aren't so helpful. The study says COVID-19 lasts up to 24 hours on those surfaces but it's plastic and steel that are the most concerning. If somebody with COVID-19 touches steel or plastic and transfers the virus, well, the study says it can live on those surfaces for up to two to three days. But here's the thing, we're all about facts, not fear here at WSA9. So here's what you can do to protect yourself and your family. Wash your hands, eh, a little bit longer. If you're having trouble remembering how long you should wash your hands, just think of the lyrics to your favorite song and sing them for 20 seconds. But if you're not near a sink, hand sanitizer. It's your best friend. But make sure that it's dry before you start touching things.